Hi, this is Rina from thecheesethief.com and I wanted to show you how to water marble your nails using this orange and blue nail polish. This blue nail polish is wet and wild and this orange nail polish I think it's discontinued. It's some old nail polish that I found in the garage. So I'm first going to start off with some room temperature tap water that I ran through a Brita filter and I already painted my nails with a base coat of orange, a clear coat and then a base coat of orange and then I'm just gonna start by dripping the blue in and I shook the, the nail polish very well and then I also actually put lip balm all around my nails so that or chapstick all around my nails so that uh, when I dip my nails in there it will not get all over my fingers so as you can see I'm just alternating colors this is wet and wild nail polish is actually really cheap it's only 99 cents I think or a dollar fifty maybe now now um, so you you do want to experiment with different nail polishes uh, different brands you never know which one's gonna work check, check your local dollar store for any discount nail polishes and the, actually the brighter the color the probably more on sale it is because usually people don't buy the orange nail polish only maybe for Halloween Okay, so I alternated colors as you can see. It went um, orange, blue, orange, blue. And I'm just going to take a toothpick and then just go alternate ends. I'm just going to go through one and then the other side. And then this will make a really pretty flower. And I'm actually going to dip four fingers into the the uh, the water so that I can get all four nails done at once and I've never actually done that before but I think it'll be easier because I get to do all four at once so I'm just gonna maybe do a little more because I'm gonna do it over here oh so my nail polish dried so I'm gonna pull out on these ones to get a prettier pattern and I'm gonna dip my nails in there so that's why I'm pulling out and making a more of a swirly pattern. So you can see I just take my four fingers that already put lip balm near the cuticles. I like the lip balm because you can get really close to the cuticles. And it also probably moisturizes them. I'm going to dip all four fingers in there and then I'm going to hold and then I'm going to take a q-tip and just swirl around over here. I don't know if you can see but I'm just swirling around to pull up all the excess nail polish because you don't want it to ruin your pattern. So I'm swirling all around my fingers, just trying to pull up the nail polish. And then getting between my fingers, and I'm going to pull my nails out. And then you can see I have um, polish everywhere, but because I put lip balm on my fingers, it wipes off pretty easily. This is just a paper towel. So I'll wipe it off for you. Sorry. So I probably do still have to use a little nail polish remover because I dip my fingers farther than I put the lip balm, but a lot of it's coming off which is pretty nice because I don't have to use as much nail polish remover. And I will show you that my nails, there probably is a little more cleanup that could do. So there you go, there are my nails. And I hope you like this tutorial. You can see my other video on how to water marble this cup. Please visit me at thecheesethief.com for more tutorials and pictures. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.